then look at this. Oh, then you sear it. Then you sear it. Then you sear it. Oh yeah. Oh man, everyone, it's official. Corona hair has arrived. It has arrived. I am in need of that haircut. Oh man, I don't know when we're gonna open back up and be able to go back out into society, but for the time being, you're just gonna have to deal with it. All right, guys, back to back hard days. On the blog today, talking about my strategy for uh, why every now and then, not too often, but every now and then, I like to integrate uh, a hard day and a hard day. So yesterday was intervals, and I'm not crazy sore yet. I think it might set in uh, by tomorrow morning. I'll keep you posted on that. But then today, and that was yes, in the Alpha Flies. It was fun to fun to get out on the track again. But today is the EVO Speed Goats uh, because I'm going to some dirt. Uh, call it a cup of dirt. Uh, going to some dirt in the EVO Speed Goats. So let's lace up. That is the game plan. Hope you're doing well. Man, we're just. Whew. Rock and roll time in the studio. If you hear a machine in the background, some noise, they're aerating the yard. Sorry about that. They're literally right outside the studio. All right, everyone. So you know how I like to absorb our training as runners. Uh, do I think that uh, that type of training, and it's not just gym, it's a lot of other marathon training systems around the world or training programs. Do you allow your body to absorb the training, the hard training, um, when you're running at that high of volume. And uh, there's a lot, of, I would argue that it, it does not. If you are training above, I'm gonna say like above that 145, 140, I've seen some very successful marathon racers train at 140 miles a week, which is a lot. And you know how I like to run ridiculously easy in order to race fast. When we want to race fast, we need to train fast. We need to do fast workouts. Um, the shorter the distances, especially. Marathon, yes. Uh, ultra marathons, not quite as important. Uh, half marathons, yes. But especially like anything below 5K. In order for me to be able to race fast, I need to make sure my workouts are fast and that I'm doing the threshold run like I did last week, nine miles at 515 per mile. The only reason. The only, and my goal pace in Amsterdam is definitely 518, 518, 519 and below per mile. That's the goal pace that I, I need, I want to hit and I need to hit. So I had a huge boost of confidence when I, at altitude, I was able to hold 515 a mile on dirt at altitude with no competition. But the only reason I was able to do that was because I ran slow, easy, silly slow, the day before. All right, all right, but every now and then I like to mix into my training back-to-back -back hard days. I'll explain why in a minute. Uh, first of all, so yesterday intervals on the track. Uh, I went anaerobic, absolutely. I, th I don't know what my max heart rate was. I'll have to check, uh, but it was, uh, I was breathing pretty good. You heard me at the end of the workout right there. And uh, also I could feel the lactic acid build up, but I must say, I'm not sore, crazy sore yet. I think it's coming. It'll probably be tomorrow morning when I wake up. Um, so, but then after the intervals, I decided, okay, before the time trial, the half marathon time trial this weekend, I want to get in one more long run. So in order to give me enough time to recover for that time trial, I knew that this week I was going to go back to back hard. So Tuesday and Wednesday. So today's run, uh, 23 miles, 37 K, 645 a mile, uh, or I believe it's about 
four, no, 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 410 per kilometer. And time in, all right, the leaf blower has passed. Okay, so marathon training, we're in the midst of it. Uh, I am not quitting on this marathon training block as we talked about last week, April 19th, DGR virtual marathon. And the reason I'm not quitting is because it's all about the experimenting and tinkering and figuring out when do I hit the wall, okay? And after doing a lot of long runs, a lot of long runs and running the New York City Marathon and the uh, Amsterdam Marathon, I'm slowly figuring out that around mile 23, roughly, is when I start to hurt. It, hap it definitely happened in New York City right around mile 23 where I, st I started to slow down. And that's why I know like that was my wall. But on today's long run, instead of mile 23 being the wall, it was actually more tw mile 20 or 21. Why? Because of yesterday's interval session. My legs were not as fresh, which is, the this is the practice. This is why I do back-to-back -back days because it allowed me more time in, in a, in a non-race environment to focus for the last two to three miles on the long run on what? On my nutrition, on my hydration, on my running form, and on my cadence. So I had to buckle down uh, mentally, and this is the trick. Uh, when you hit that wall and when you're hurting, um, and so, yeah, when you hit the wall and you're hurting, and the more that you can uh, mimic those race in the the race environment where you're in pain and it hurts and you know it's gonna hurt and you know your legs are gonna burn and you know you're uh, you might start to go anaerobic. Uh, that is when the focus and the uh, getting used to the pain, getting kind of used to that pain cave, really I think comes in handy. Um, so anyway, that is my little trick for the day. Passing it on to you is that. Uh, back to back hard days every now and then not not too often maybe okay if I had to put a number on it I'd say two to three times a month at the most okay so not too often but it's, it's just a little trick that I put into the put into the hat for training for especially for longer races 5k's 10k's it's a little different half marathons um, yes they're long but Definitely the marathon and ultra marathons. I like to do it that way, all right? And also, just kind of putting this out there. I know you're busy. I know you're working hard. I know you're doing a lot in this world. And so sometimes it's out of necessity to do back-to-back -back hard days. Um, so, but just keep in mind that you don't want to do this too often. Again, going back to absorbing our training, going easy, ridiculously easy, so that we can uh, recover. Uh, let our bodies adapt to the training and then come back even stronger for the next hard day. All right. Sound good. Sound good. All right. That the vlog's not over. I'll get you the question of the day inside. We're cooking steak. All oh, true love. Thanks for cooking some steak. Come on now. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. Steak. Steak night. Oh, how's it going? Hon, let's put these babies on. Oh, okay. Okay. Hello, hello, oh my my. What's the trick here with the steak? You did this what first? This is called reverse searing. Reverse searing. Reverse searing, my friend nice. told me about this. Nice. So first you bake it, then listen to this. Oh, then you sear it. Then you sear it. Then you sear it, oh yeah. About a minute on each side. Hello, hello. Come on, All right. get a rhythm. Dinner time. Oh, <laughs> Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, my, my, I butter it. Yeah. Let's do this, okay. okay. I'll give Michael some corn. Mm -hmm. Oh, my, my. Mm, butter it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this is the good butter from oh, Sally. Oh, nice. I love it. She doesn't like your knee touching. Stack your blocks. Thank you. Okay. I mean, there's a system of like pulling it all. This is for all of us. It is mashed potatoes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, pumpkin. I'm not going to give you a turn with that. Yeah. Hello. The talk. So, with the next butter, I'm passing to you. And just like that, we have 
vacated the dinner table. I'm cleaning up, and especially with a two-year-old who is overtired. You guys didn't really see it. Maybe you heard it in the background. Overtired bear. All right, question of the day. What, uh, what are some tips and tricks that you would like to share with this YouTube running family in, uh, from your training regimen, all right? How you train, and but keep in mind, there's not really tricks in long distance running. You know what, it's like you put in the work, there's really no shortcuts. You just gotta put in the work, be smart about it, but put in that work. All right, everyone, thanks for watching, thanks for being here. Joseph and Seth are heading outside for a soccer game. I'm gonna go join them in a couple minutes after the kitchen's uh, clean. Sound good, boys? And you can have your dessert. Yes, not quite yet. Uh, all right, everyone, thanks for being here, thanks for watching. We're gonna toss it back to yesterday's interval session in the Nike. Alpha Fly next percent. All right, you guys rock right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Forgot to point. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.